So basically, <clears throat> these are the opening statement slides again, because we just need to thank everybody again. So uh, first of all, the code of conduct, uh, conduct contacts, well, the primary contacts both were uh, away because of medical reasons. So uh, we need to thank Marco and Tarja, uh, the backups. <laughs> and then I forgot my clicker somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we need to thank the Wi-Fi and the gold sponsor AVM. Uh, they have a very have had a very busy uh, stand outside, uh, but yeah, a gold sponsor give them a big hand. <laughs> Physics they had towels outside, and I'm very happy that all the towels are gone. Uh, one of our attendees vouchsafed to me that uh, he took a towel because it was raining outside and he was wet. <laughs> but that is what towels are for. So, a very useful... That, that's, I was talking with our board members, the Trex board members, that is, the other day about uh, what sort of gifts are interesting and useful. And, and that's exactly the key word. If, if the... Uh, gift, business gift is useful, it's interesting, uh, people will come back to it and so on. So, uh, job well done, physics. Uh, give them a big hand for being a gold sponsor. <laughs> and DKIX, uh, well, they have made, uh, given a lot of presentations here and uh, uh, I've seen the two people uh, very active in conversations on the uh, on the lounge area that over there and, and so on. They are also a gold sponsor. Give them a big hand. <laughs> and then the bronze sponsors, Netnot, Flex Optics and Salomanus. Salomanus also has a stand outside with inter very interesting hardware gear and drinks. Although the drinks, are there still drinks? There were very few drinks when I just passed it a few minutes ago. So, <laughs> uh, Give all the bronze sponsors a big hand as well. Uh, uh, give me a big hand. <laughs> and give uh, Raymond a big hand. Uh, and, and give Jussi Salberg from Elisa also a big hand. Uh, and uh, also give the tech crew who have had a very up big uphill battle the whole day, give them a big hand. Uh, give me a big hand again for fetching a uh, new cable from a nearby shop to get the audio issues sorted out. <laughs> and uh, also uh, give the program committee a big hand. <laughs> and remember, uh, we'd really like more people on the program committee. Uh, most of the people on the program committee right now are professional program committee members, which is very nice, very efficient, but um, I mean, I don't want to call them old, but they are getting on a bit in age. We need fresh blood, we need new blood, and uh, so if you join the program committee, there won't be huge ex expectations on you from day one. It's more like uh, you can observe the masters in there you know, at their work, and, and then you will grow into being a good program committee. Basically, um, good uh, characteristics for the program committee member is that they make a lot of connections, they uh, follow a lot of other events and see what's current, what's interesting, uh, uh, and what presentations can we steal from RIPE 88, for example. Um, and. Uh, you don't need to, you know, understand every technical detail yourself. Uh, that is something that a lot of people uh, misunderstand about program committees. They don't need to understand the presentations. They just need to be able to evaluate them uh, for how... Um, I mean, someone on the program committee often understands some presentation. So, you know, don't be afraid. That's uh, also... We need all sorts of other uh, volunteers, not just um, 
technical volunteers, but we also need people to arrange tables, like for example, uh, next topic is, topic is going to be dinner. Uh, so that wall at the back will start disappearing soon, and the buffet is set up there, and there's a bunch of tables there. But we can't all fit on those tables, so that means that we'll start rearranging the tables on this side to uh, get more tables. And that is the sort of thing that we also need volunteers for. And uh, setting up the batches outside and all the roll-ups. Well, sponsors usually take care of their own roll-ups, but you know we have the knock fee roll-up as well and stuff like that. So uh, get in touch with me, with other program community members, or with the, uh, the tech team also uh, can, uh, if you're interested, they can uh, pass on the people, uh, uh, word to the right people to get you involved. And uh, thanks all for coming uh, to the seminar. Uh, the next up uh, is going to be dinner. And uh, we have room for 80 uh, in the dinner. And uh, I think there were enough cancellations uh, from people who uh, were said that they were going to attend dinner, that if you, even if you weren't uh, registered for dinner, but are changing your mind now, you can join, join the dinner. Uh, after that, it's going to be sauna, uh, but the sauna is a very small venue, so unfortunately we can't take any extra people there. Uh, so dinner will start at roughly uh, half past five to uh, six o'clock, somewhere between that. It uh, depends on how long I talk. Uh, but uh, it'll end at around half past seven, and uh, then we'll have a bus uh, curve into the um, what's the word courtyard of the hotel. Uh, it'll wait there until it's full, and it it'll take everyone uh, to the sauna venue. But the, can you change to the website? But uh, so this is the sauna venue. Uh, Tila Lounge and Showroom. <laughs> so it's an interesting concept. It's a company that has rented out a couple of saunas, one here in Tampere and another one in Helsinki. And then they've uh, furnished it with interesting furniture. And they are, uh, it's a showroom, which means that they want to sell you this furniture. But anyway, so uh, that place is nearby. So it's over the rapids. And then uh, I think it's a third. Uh, north-south road, uh, northbound, uh, quite near the end, but not really at the end. Uh, there's a street address at the end of that website, which is Nasilinankatu 9. So if you do miss the bus, you can just walk there or take a taxi or whatever. Um, uh, it is actually sort of hidden in that uh, it, the building itself is a normal residential, I think, six-story building. The, uh, but there's just one door next to one of the main entries, uh, a wooden door, and behind that door there's uh, stairs leading down, so it's in the ba uh, underground, in the basement, under the building. But uh, they have, because it's a residential building, they have strict uh, rules there. Uh, you can't smoke outside. Oh, if you want to smoke, well, you can't smoke inside either. But if you <laughs> want to smoke, you need to uh, walk across the street so that it doesn't go uh, into the, anyone's home. Um, well, I, I don't think we'll have trouble with too much noise, but... Oh yeah, that's a picture of, uh, of the uh, building. And this wooden door is the door to the sauna, and that's a uh, door, and that one uh, over there is a door to the residential uh, area. And uh, so we'll put uh, the, uh, the bus, park the bus outside there and we'll walk in. And then, yeah, we need to uh, start leaving at 11 o'clock because they don't want us to be there uh, in the wee hours of night. But on the walk back to the hotel, there's like uh, another interesting bar every you know, two steps or three steps. So, so basically we can go bar hopping after this.
after the sauna, I mean. Um, what else is important? Uh, any questions? Oh yeah, that's the map. Uh, so can you scroll it so that you can see the, see the hotel as well? So <clears throat> this is us over here. This is the bridge, uh, the famous bridge outside. You just walk uh, over that and not to the end of the main street, but one block before. And then you walk a uh, turn right and then you walk uh, until you see the building you just saw on the <laughs> on screen. So it's, it's over there. Uh, I had to actually go there and turn on the sauna uh, today. Uh, so I just took the uh, bus number two from there to uh, there and then walked back. So that's also possible. But yeah. Um, let's have dinner and let's have fun. Everyone uh, do as much networking as you still can. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>